I'm Nicolene and I want to quickly show you a couple of tips on how to uh, place a throw on your bed as well as how to pick a throw for your bed. Now firstly the length of the throw is quite important. If you don't have a throw that is long enough to actually go the width of your bed then you can always throw the throw um, basically diagonal like this. If your throw is actually long enough that it can go from the one side to the other side then you can kind of place the throw on the ends of the bed. Finding a throw that is the right size uh, can be quite difficult. Sometimes they are beautiful throws but they're only 150 centimeter in width which basically will just fit a double bed um, and not really a queen or a king size bed. So in that case if you can't find a throw that works for you then just go for a blanket like this one or even a um, you know a neutral blanket that has similar colors uh, that you already have in your doona. Now I'll quickly show you uh, first thing so I'm going to use a blanket just um, to demonstrate in this example and you basically just want to fold it in its length in half and then in half again. Okay, I'm just going to show you when you actually throw it um, so that it covers the width of the bed. All right, a couple of things to keep in mind. Make sure that it is actually straight. So don't throw it that way that you can basically see because this bed has uh, patterns and uh, lines in it. You can see that the throw isn't really straight. So make sure that you pull it all the way so that it looks nice and neat and then also the important side of the throw is really when you walk in is really when you walk in the door now when you walk in the door which the door is actually that side this is going to be the first side that you'll see so make sure that the throw is actually pulled up in line with your duvet and then you can just pull it all the way back. If it hangs over this side a little bit, you can just kind of like fold it in and tuck it in under the mattress so that it almost looks equal on either side. So you can basically keep it straight like this, flat straight. Make sure that you don't see any tags. A lot of times they do have tags on the side, just push it in so it looks nice and neat. The other option you have um, I like this a lot sometimes is you basically you can just crinkle it up frump it up I'm not sure what's the exact terminology for that but it's just putting in some nice uh, folds into your blanket or your throw and what it does it just creates a little bit of extra texture so I'm just doing it that way okay and just make sure the ends are nice as well. Okay, so then just a little bit of texture in your throw so you can do it that way too. And as I mentioned, if your throw isn't long enough, I'll just demonstrate here, you can always just throw it so that it goes from that side, a little bit diagonal to the other side. Okay, you can just put in some Nice little fluffy lines in there. Okay, and that's another way that you can play with your throw. Easy. Thanks so much for watching this video. Remember, if you liked it, press thumbs up and subscribe to get more videos like this. See you next time for more fantastic home improvement tips. Bye.